This is lesson 8 from the using units of measurement topic and this one will be looking into using and interpreting timetables. The learning goal is to look into how a two-way timetable works in extracting the relevant information from it and the success criteria as the title suggests is interpret and use the timetables. Now if you know how to read a two-way timetable whether it's talking about aeroplane uh, departure and arrival times, your timetable that you use at school or that you uh, look, look at in Compass, whether it's a timetable talking about bus or train times that leave or depart from stations, then pretty much this skill is a relatively simple skill to approach. Now, I've got a few examples here just to get into the swing of things so you know what's expected for the skill. And this question here, question one, this is Sophia's school timetable. Uh, how many times a week does she study maths? Now, all you're doing is you're looking for all the uh, times it says maths within the timetable. So on Monday, she studies in uh, session two and Tuesday, session one. Uh, make sure that uh, you don't skip any. There could be uh, some times where it doubles up. Friday maths there and maths there oh I missed one up here there's a maths there so make sure I'm pretty sure that if you click on the picture as well when you're doing a central assessment you should be able to have the picture zoom up um, so that way you can see uh, see the picture closer in this case we have five so you just put five please don't write the word five just put the number five, because as smart as essential assessment is, it will only take this type of common answer. Next question, what type of flight, uh, what time rather, will a flight depart to Paris? So this is question six. So this here is an international departure timetable. It shows you the flight number, the time in which it departs, the destination it goes to, which gate you have to line up to if you were to depart there, and what the current status is, whether it's boarding, whether the, the trip is on time, or whether the trip will be delayed. And this is just a result of other planes and other areas waiting for people. Um, and in this case, we're just looking to see when it departs uh, for Paris. We just look for Paris, which is here. We know it's at 10.30. So that's our solution there. Quite a simple one. Um, if you know how to interpret this type of information, and then a lot of these questions are considered quite simple. Now, some of the trickier questions, and I say trickier because it's just comparatively speaking, still easy. If the current time is 9.17 a.m., how long until a plane departs for Moscow? So this, you've got to be careful because within this international departure uh, timetable, you can see that there are actually more than one Moscow uh, plane leaving. There's one at 1010 and one at 1140. Now be careful because sometimes people will bypass that first one, look at the second one and interpret it as this is the only plane that it's leaving for Moscow. But it really depends on what the current time is. The current time is 917. So the next one after 917, because you've got to remember that these time uh, these times for the destination go in order from earliest to latest is 1010. So it's from 9.17 to 10.10. So we need to determine, well, how many minutes does it take to get from there to there? Well, from 9.17, what I'll do is I'll actually erase this and I'll put this 10.10 over here. And just like in the previous um, videos, we'll go from 9.17 to 9.30. 9.30 to 10, and then from 10 to 10.10. 10. Okay, so from 9.17 to 9.30, this is 13 minutes. From 9.30 to 10, this is 30. And then from 10 to 10.10, 10, this is 10. I said the word 10 too many times in that sentence. All right, so, 30 plus 10 is 40, 40 plus 13 is 53. So I enter, we'll take 53 minutes. Um, that's how long it will take for the plane, the next plane to depart to Moscow, if the current time is 9.17. 
If the time is 8.42 a.m., how many minutes until the next train departs from Penrith? So how this train timetable works is that there are, in this case, six different train uh, stations. They go from Bathurst to Central. And the train arrival times will be given based on which train is leaving, train one, two, three, or four. Now, if you see something that's grayed out, that just means that there is no service or, uh, for train one that goes to, to Blackheath in this case. So it will go to Bathurst and it will actually bypass the station and then arrive at Penrith. Um, all the train two station have stops. Train three, the first two um, train stations um, I don't have a service. And for train four, um, Black, Blackheath, Penrith and Parramatta don't have services. Uh, and this just has to do with uh, express time. So sometimes certain stations will have trains bypass them uh, because there's probably already too many people within this train. So they just express through this and that way you arrive at your destination quicker. So if the time is 8.42, how many minutes until the next train departs from Penrith? So you're assuming you are at Penrith already and it's 8.42. So that means this train has already gone, the 737 train, that's gone. And we're waiting for the 931 train to come by. So we're at the station, it's 8.42. And you're waiting until the 931 train pops up because this is the next available train. So we'll go from 8.42 to say 8.45. 8.45 uh, to 9. And 9 to 9.31. I could go from 9 to 9.30 and then 9.30 to 1. Uh, but we kind of already know that that's 31 minutes. Alright, so 8.42 to 8.45. This is 3 minutes. From 8.45 to 9, 15. And then from 9 to 9.31, 31. So, 15 plus, uh, 15 plus 31. I'll actually do 15 plus 31. So this is 45, 46. Plus another 3, 47, 48. 49. How many minutes? 49 minutes. Now be careful, there are some questions within here that might ask you about different types of context. So it might not ask you about time, it might ask you a certain day that a certain session is. Um, just be careful, don't write, say for instance it's asking for which day is a certain session. Um, don't just put WED for Wednesday, actually write the full word Wednesday. Uh, I also won't accept this type of answer, okay? So something you just have to be mindful of. And we'll look into one more example. Uh, this is the last question, question 20. The questions before had also followed the suit. If a train leaves every 11 minutes from Flinders Street, fill in the missing departure times in this timetable. And this was actually a relatively simple one because all you're doing, just adding 11 minutes, adding 11 minutes, adding 11 minutes. Sometimes the first part is really tricky because you uh, the time is very close to the nearest um, zero zero minute. So you just gotta be careful. We're adding 11 minutes to this. So from 6.55 add 11, or well, I just usually just add 10 and then add one because that's the same as adding 11. So from 6.55 to 7.05, which ends up being seven. Six. Now, when you put this in, don't forget about that zero that's at the front because we're working with 24 hour time. So you go zero, 07 and then the semicolon, which is the shift, and then this button that is here that looks like this. Like so. Um, I'm not too sure if you have to press shift. Yeah, you have to press shift to get that one. Um, and then that will be the solution for the first part. And then you, again, you just keep adding 11 minutes. So this will be uh, 0717. And then the last one, 0728. And that's it for this skill. Wrap it up under 10 minutes. Go ahead and attempt this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.